Hi! Welcome back to another episode of Easy Peasy Labeling It with me, Melissa. Today we are going to install the Label Editor Lite software, which is our program for Mac, and we're going to install the LWPX 400. So let's dive in! So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the App Store and download the app. Okay, so I'm there now, and if you, in the search bar, just type in Epson iLabel, and the iLabel is one word, I, and then L-A-B-E-L. -E so once you type that in, you're going to get the app here. So you'll see the Epson Label Editor Lite app, um, and then I can go ahead and just click to download that. So I'm going to do that, enter in um, the password if it prompts you to do that, and then we'll go ahead and you can see it's going to download. Okay, so now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and launch that app, but it's installed. I don't need to launch it just yet. We need to install our printer. Okay, so I can go ahead and we can leave the app store. And now we're going to go to the internet and we're going to go to the Epson LabelWorks website, which I said wrong. It's actually labelworks.epson.com. So let's get there now. There we go. My computer's moving slow. Here we go. All right, so again, the website is labelworks.epson.com. Once you are there, you can go ahead and you'll see on the top if you want to go over to support and then scroll down to software, drivers, and app download. Okay, so we'll click on that and it's going to bring you to this page here. So we can scroll down, there we go, to the label editor light software and driver. Now this is where you're going to get the driver. Okay, so you'll see that there are instructions and then there is the actual download which is going to be the driver package. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that and we are going to click to download that. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now once you open it, you're going to see this, um, these set of files. Okay, so we can go ahead and run this one. Okay. Perfect. All right. So you'll see that it's opening it. All right. So now it's going to give us a couple of different options here. So we'll see the driver package is actually the one that we want. So we'll just click on that. And this is going to start a little install wizard. Just follow the on-screen prompts to install it. Okay, so it says install printer drivers. That's what we want. We're going to agree to the license. Yes, and there, agree. Okay, so now it's going to ask if we want the driver or the network configuration tool. For now, we just want the driver. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And yep, we know. Go ahead. Okay. And then you'll see that it is running that installation. Now you'll notice I don't actually have my printer plugged in yet. So you can go ahead and just kind of wait for that. So we'll let this finish. Perfect. Okay, so now you can see that we get that green check. So it's saying installation was successful. Awesome. Okay, perfect. So we can go ahead and close that. And I'm going to go ahead and select to keep that because I have a couple other printers I need to install too. All right, so we can go ahead and get out of there. We can close those and we can close our browser as well. Okay, so now the last step that you need to do, remember our printer isn't plugged in. So let's go ahead and plug that in and go to your system preferences. Okay, I lied, go to your system preferences first. Okay, so we're gonna go to our system preferences and then you're gonna go to your printer and scanner folder. Okay, so go ahead and open that up. And here you're going to see some printers, okay? Now, we don't see the LWPX 400 here, so we need to go ahead and add that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. This guy in. And then turn the printer on. Yep. All right. Fantastic. So now you'll see uh, sometimes it does add the printer automatically. Other times you have to press the print the plus sign button. So mine decided to go ahead and add it automatically and you can see that the printer is there. Okay, LWPX 400. Otherwise you can go ahead and just hit the plus sign and select it there. Okay, wonderful. So now we've got our printer installed and the app installed as well. Wonderful, good job. Now go make some labels. <laughs>
<laughs> if you have questions on the Label Editor Lite software or the PX400 or any others in the lineup, please feel free to reach out. We are happy to help. Thanks again and happy labeling.